Hi there and welcome to my next tutorial on doing shooting inside of Unity. Um, now there is a common method that's used quite regularly and there's quite a few tutorials on it called ray casting. And what we're going to use is, um, and I highly recommend this uh, ray casting tutorial if you want to understand a bit more how it works, but I highly recommend using a little bit more of a, a, a modern approach. Um, games like uh, Planetside 2 that you can see going here um, and a few other games um, like uh, Battlefield series, uh, rather than use um, Raycast, which automatically just finds exactly where you're uh, where you're aimed, um, it would use an actual projectile, and uh, you would uh, check a ray between the the current position of that projectile and where it was the last frame, so that you ensure that you don't miss um, any collisions. And we're gonna just code that up and uh, we're going to use a little bit of a hybrid method um, for doing that. So um, if you fire up your um, Unity, if you're going to follow along with this, um, what we're going to do is we're just going to start by creating the bullet first of all in this first one and then we'll make the gun in the second series, in the second uh, video. So uh, what we need is, uh, I've just got a completely empty scene in here, um, we've just got the camera and the light and I'm going to create an empty game object in here and uh, we're going to call it bullet because it's going to be a bullet. Now the components that this bullet needs is uh, literally just a trail renderer and you can see I've been um, playing around with it. So if you search um, up this box for trail, um, you get trail renderer and we're just going to go through some of these um, these elements here and work out which ones we need. So we need this to be fairly lightweight, um, so we're going to say that it doesn't cast shadows or receive shadows and it doesn't um, occlude any geometry so that it won't uh, up avoid people seeing things. Um, leave the rest of it but we do need to change the material that we'll currently see so if you change this um, none material if you just use the circle select over here you'll be able to choose just the default particle so I've got the default particle set up here the time uh, here is set to the um, how long the particle um, the trail renderer will um, will render as the thing moves so we want that to be a very small value and I'm going to just use um, point two, but we can tweak this a little bit and make it um, slightly different for different um, bullets to get a different effect. And this auto destruct we want to leave off um, so that it doesn't um, get destroyed when uh, when it's not rendering anymore. If you um, just literally move this around now, you'll see that a trail um, gets shown behind the object as you move it around, and it's exactly the effect that we're after. Um, what we're going to do though is um, the trail's a little bit too um, too big so uh, for now we're just going to um, shrink it down to like 0 0.5 um, or, or a bit less and leave all the rest of the values as it is so as it moves you'll see that you get a nice uh, trail effect that comes off the, um, the bullet. Um, that's it for this for now we're going to improve on this just a little bit and uh, we, but what we are going to do is we're going to need a script for this bullet so um, we're just going to add the component of new script. Um, and then we're going to call this new script bullet. And we're going to get started with coding it. So we have this bullet script right now. If I just open this up in Visual Studio, we're going to start coding the. Uh, the bullet to move and, and, and right now we're just going to code the, literally code the bullet to move and then we're going to show you how to do the raycasts in a, in a slightly later video. So um, what I really need um, to do is to set up a public variable which will be a floating point variable and uh, we're going to call this speed. I'm going to initialize this one to nice and fast to 200 and then quite obviously in um, in the update, all we're going to do is we're going to set the transform the position to um, add on to the uh, bullet's current position. So the transform um, dot forward, so that's the direction times the speed times time. Oops, times time dot delta time so that will tell us that will move this uh, this thing forward um, by a certain distance um, based on the speed and the time so this will be frame independent so it really is a, a super simple um, if you save this code 
um, what you'll find um, if, we, if I view it from this angle. When I am um, going to drop this scene view down to one side so that we can still see the scene view and the game view at both times when I hit play. So I'm going to hit play and you'll see that the, the bullet um, shoots off in the distance and you can see it on both sides. Um, because we're cameras directly behind it doesn't look great from here but it's the same with a lot of the video games. You, you don't see much when you're right behind it but you will see it as it's moving past. So um, that's the um, the absolute base section. Now it's, it, there is no collision right now but one thing that we have to add in um, is we have to add in the uh, last position so that when we're moving we're able to track where the last position was and then recalculate the new position and that way we can use it to uh, calculate the ray collisions when we come to that point in our code. So um, I'm just going to create a little um, another variable, a vector 3 this time and we're going to call it last position and uh, we're just going to make it um, leave it as it is uninitialized right there and the first thing we do as we go into the update is we set the last position to be equal to the current position, the transformed up position and this is done just before we um, we update the, the, the transform dot position. Um, and that's pretty much all there is to it. That's a very, very simple start to this very simple um, series. If you test this, um, you'll see that you'll have the, the bullet moving forward. If you pause it at any time, you'll see um, you'll see that the, the trail that gets left behind is, uh, is actually pretty long. We can tweak this value. And one last thing before I finish the video, if you change these values, if you want, uh, this curve is actually the width um, of the whole thing, but you can actually add values into it. So what, what we might do is um, if you just double click on the line uh, at the end here and just drag this one down, what you'll see is that we actually get a little bit of a, a, a curve so that this is the, the sort of end of the line and this is the, the, sorry, this is the start of the line and that's the end of the line. And you can see it gives you a, a much nicer sort of bullet trail effect. Um, so it's a bit fatter at one end and shorter at the other. And you can tweak this curve to get the shape that you're after. But this one um, looks pretty good. All right, that is it for this video. And the next one, we're going to make the gun so we can fire these.